It has been too long. I'm getting the Ikea bug. Let's go check out what's new over with their spring line. I just need to get my bags. Don't let me forget. I need to get my Ikea bags. I am notorious for forgetting those. I'm like a rookie every time. I just don't go enough. So I'm going to get those. We're going to get on the road and I'm going to take you along and let's see what's going on over at Ikea. <laughs> I like this color. They're doing a lot of plums and mauves that I think look really nice. Ooh, that's my favorite it's pillow size. It's 20 by 20. So they have really nice velvet pillow covers and a, kind of a mauve. Oh, there's my beloved Farlow. I still love the Farlow couches. The last few times I've come in, I've liked that that chair back there. I think these these are well made. I think they would look really good on a patio. They're really deep. I don't know if you want that, but I would like those on a patio. I think that would look good. This is another one that I really like too. Some of these have been in here a while. That's good. When they're good. Detail. Good hinges. Mm, this one's good too. Not cheap. And you kind of get what you pay for. They have inexpensive things and then, you know, higher price. Look at this. Ooh, I like that. That detail. Okay, that was too easy to open. Maybe not with kids, guys. Oh, it's magnetic or something. And along those same lines, look at that TV console. That is cute. It's a soft, creamy color. Of course, I love that hardware. TV unit. Yep, I approve. Good price. Here's one, too, that I really like. You could grow plants in this or put it in your bathroom. I've seen these in antique stores, not the same ones, but this has such a retro feel. I've seen this exact same look in a in an antique mall. Give a little behind the scenes. Yes. Okay, we found a mirror. Should it, should it? <laughs> this mirror, I like the shape of it. I like the size of it. It's a good price. It's one thirty. It's this. Vons. <laughs> but I don't like the color. It's too yellow, which makes it look kind of cheap. And it was kind of cheap. But I would I would use it. I would change the frame. I wonder if the same person does this little booth every time because I always like it. Yeah, this has a dark academia look to it. So velvet curtains to the floor. Ooh, look at the very hot, tall. Very long panels. Okay. Cabinets. Look at that beautiful piece of art. I don't care for that light so much, but. The layered rugs. 
course I love these baskets. I'm so glad they still have them. I have tons of them for under $10. Love the look. And I love those up there. I have those boxes. If you're interested in this print, there's the name and price. Uh, this blanket I have had and I do not recommend it. It sheds so bad. Do we have a name? Sorry, Ikea. This one is a no-go. These are some of my all-time favorite. I have this set. I've had it for years. They're awesome. They fold up really nice. I need to oil mine. But great price. So the table's 60 and the chairs are 45. I would totally get this for your porch. Oh my gosh, look at this cute floor. It makes the whole kitchen. If without that floor, it would be just kind of nothing. Aww. And all the light in here. Now there's a lot of black. Technically, I feel like there's too much black. These cute little chairs. A junior chair, oh my goodness. <laughs> Somebody sneezing so loud. <laughs> oh, I like that. That is a cute apron. Really cute. Okay, for the boho people in my crowd, this is really cute. Cushion with cushion cover. 20 by 20, that's my standard pillow size. A little pricey, but I um, love the texture. Zipper. Yeah, that's a good one. I recommend that. So cozy. Maybe someday I'll design an Ikea room for them. That'd be pretty fun. So I feel like that gallery wall is a little much, um, but I like the wall color. Ooh, look at this. Those are cute. Mm hmm cute for spring. Okay, I'm just seeing dishes for the kids' table at Easter. Oh, they even have silverware. Okay, that's cute. I have three of these in white enamel from years ago. Same picture. They just painted them this matte green. I do like them. Oh, here they are. Here's those cutie little dishes. Oh, there's different patterns. Four different patterns, okay. And bowls and cups. Pattern one, pattern two, pattern three, and pattern four. Rolling pens are $8. Okay, this is not necessary. So these are at the thrift store for a dollar. If you want a just big collection of them, don't get them here. I'm wondering if they sell some type of a penny tile. Oh, I'm standing in the shower. I don't know if this is just something that the decorators added or you can get sheets of this. I'm interested. Wow, that wallpaper. Oh, it's like big peonies. Oh, and a bird. There's a bird right there. Ooh, champagne, anyone? Those are cute. I'm gonna have to get some of those. These are cute too. These are whiskey glasses, but look how nice detailing. They don't look cheap. We don't go, for, we don't, we wanna pay cheap prices, but we don't want it to look cheap, right? Oh, and there's another version of that mirror that I like. Good price. Oh, it's huge, you guys. Look at the size. 
$80. This is nice. And I like the little detailing at the top. Oh, a rabbit. Good colors at Ikea. There's Ikea's version of the slab splash. They're doing a lot of these etched peonies. I've seen this pattern in several places here. I like that. Cake plates. Sweet. Although I think that you can find these really easily in thrift stores for five dollars and things. Little pantry. Oh. This is sweet. Little spot for the dog. I love, I have these jars. You can keep spaghetti noodles in them. I keep my muffin liners in them on the counter. These are good jars because I like that they have the seal. I keep my OxyClean in these. The little scoop. The price. Little drink dispenser. Now these are something else you can get at the thrift store for probably ten dollars. I get I have several that I got at the thrift store. And I love these two these bottles. Okay, this is interesting. If you need something super, super well, not very deep for your shoes. Look at that. I mean, it is very functional. I can see why someone would want this piece. I loved this one the last time we were in. Well, I love the sink faucet. But I also love this backdrop. That brass. Oh, thank you. So this is an Ikea tile? No, it's not. But you have it's to not. Keep, this is but you have to. We give you the name. And also the flooring on each oh, of, our, every one of our rooms. Yeah, I know them. It, okay. Each one of the rooms has one of these incognito signs. Okay. All right. So that tile is the Jeffrey Court tile. Just had an Ikea guy help me out. I really love their counter choices. There's so many good ones here. Good prices. Mmm, my wheels are turning. You know I want to change my counters out this year. I want to do that. I don't know if I want to do sort of a slate look or more of a Carrera marble look, which is more like this. Oh, I like, I like all of these. Yeah, these are great. And there's thicker options with butcher block. Oh wow, what a great selection. Not a bad one in the bunch. I'm always looking for little gifts for people. You know, you can get stocking stuffers and hostess gifts and these little pads, little scrub pads for the kitchen. Oh, they are $2.49. These would be cute for a little hostess gift. I would take them out of the package and stack them and tie them with a ribbon. And oh, and then maybe give Mrs. Myers with it. Yeah. Oh, look at this little bar cart. I have a similar one from Target. Decent price. Well, well it's average price, I'd say. That's cute. Let's try not to break anything today, Sarah. I would put that in a craft room or an office so I could wheel projects around on it. Don't just use it for a bar. There's all kinds of things it could be used for. Okay, I like this chair, this desk chair. It's a little stained on display here, but this is supposed to be a naturopath clinic or something. I don't know if IKEA does the same displays throughout the country or if they're unique. I bet they're unique to each region, to each store, do you think? This is always a cute booth to me. Okay, I really like the color of this. This little desk and oh, a lamp, a little lamp. This color is gorgeous. So it's too big. 
That is really cute. That's nice. Well made. Very cute setup. This is cute. Oh, we got little little baby love. Hide out there. And then the wallpaper is interesting. Not really my taste, but but you know. Could be cute for the right person. What do we got back here? Here is that shoe cabinet again. This one's in a closet though. Just kind of a nice idea. Hmm. And I always love this booth. With the fern wallpaper. They put the bed at an angle like that, that's dramatic. I really love these little lights. I do need a floor lamp for the living room. I don't know if this is the one. But maybe. I have this hook. It's fantastic. It's built like a tank. Ooh, I don't think I paid that much for it. I'm sure I didn't. I do love it though. Be really good for a space saver if you need that. I really like this duvet cover and I know it's kind of plain, but the stitching's really nice. Pillowcases and duvet cover. They have a little iron bed, although honestly, Wayfair has a better one. Cheaper too. I'll link it for you. This is an old one. Classic. We've had these sheets before. Still pretty, still classic. I feel like their sheet game is pretty strong. They have some really good patterns, prints and patterns. Yeah. Ooh, let's go look at blankets and see what they have. This looks like a good one, a good color. I think we have this one. Here's another comforter. This one looks like a henna design. Oh, that tile. It's stunning. So that Ikea guy that stopped me in the kitchen with the Jeffrey Cord tile, he said, look in the booth and see there's a, a sign kind of tucked away in a corner somewhere and you can figure out where things like the flooring came from, the tile, and he said a lot of stuff comes from Home Depot. So let's see what we can, if we can find where this tile source is. Oh, look at that. You can get the paint color. This is cool, this is a cool little idea tip. We have a light issue. Cute little bathroom. Ooh, I like the tile. I'm really, gosh, I'm really drawn to all the tile in here. What is it with me? I'm gonna get you out of here before you get a migraine from that light that's blinking. Oh, this rug. I like the rug. Where's the rug from? I mean, we know where it's from. Here's the name of that rug. I'm just basically your personal shopper today, aren't I? How are you, Madeline? Okay, another rug that I think could be, yeah, maybe, maybe. I'm not sure how I feel about these colors. So fun. It's fun to be back. Good to be back to Ikea. Always like this too. I really would love to design a studio apartment. It's kind of, kind of in my veins right now. Ikea, your tile selection is fantastic. That 
thought we were done. We've been walking for an hour. Oh no, we haven't seen the kids space. Of course we're not done. I love the kids spaces. Ooh, under the sea. Some jellyfish lights. Playtime. cooler although I'd use it for a punch bowl too I am rooting for punch to come back into style with the cute little glasses we need to start a trend they have little baby ones now Think of party favors for that one. Pretty, awesome. good colors. Okay, this one is an indoor outdoor. Oh, I really like the. I do like that. That's really well made. I like IKEA rugs. Oh, I like this one too. Handmade. little fringe at the bottom. I know I show this to you every time, but I love that light and I'm so glad they still have it. It is a classic. That's so cute in a kid's room. And this little baby, oh, lights burn out. This is a cutie too. I have this in my daughter's room. So cute. Has little birds on it. So I'm feeling kind of smug right now. I found a basket like this at the thrift store. I paid $5 for it. And I'm gonna fill it with plants for the porch. It doesn't have a plastic liner, but I can figure that out. 